Hey, what's up guys? It's Simi here back with my video and today we are taking a look at how to make a really cool uh, face cam border, a diamond face cam border on Android. So we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch as always and if you guys don't have Adobe Photoshop Touch, the link is going to be in the description below. So obviously we're going to go ahead and just create a brand new project. The resolution that I'm going to be using for today's video is 1280x720 and if you guys would like to make it higher, go ahead and go for it. But this is what I'm going to work with. Uh, for today's video so let's go ahead and start up by filling our project with white just like that and of course you can go ahead and just transform it so make sure you scale it down and of course center it in the center of your, your project so as you can see we are going to be able to see it even better and of course you can go ahead and add a stroke into it so I'm going with a dark stroke just like that if you guys would like to change the color change it but I'm going to stick with black just like this so now you're gonna go ahead and just create or just import a diamond uh, into your very own project and you can go ahead and go to the link in the description below and download this diamond right over here because it took me a long long time to find this type of diamonds on Google images so I'm going to give it to you guys in the description below for free you can download it so go ahead and just download this and import it to Photoshop and once that's done you can just make sure that this layer is actually below your very own border <coughs> excuse me so as you can see right over here I'm going to this layers tab and I'm going to drag this below my very own border just like this and I'm going to put it on the top left corner of the screen if you guys would like to change the direction of it go and just do it but I'm going to go with this direction right over here so and once you are actually done with that you can just go and duplicate it you can just do that by going to that plus button and hit on duplicate and there you go you can just go ahead and put it nearby it and I'm going to duplicate this process until I will have diamonds surrounding all of my borders so I'll be right back when I'm done Alright guys, so as you can see right over here, I'm just done and I end up having this shape after I did put all of the diamonds surrounding my very own overlay and you probably will have a different shape than this. It all depends on your very own creation. So once you're actually done with it, we need to have only one layer that have all of the diamonds. So to do that, go ahead and hit on that layers uh, like option right over here and select the top diamond which is right here and hit on that layers tab and hit on that layers tab again and then once you're actually done with that you need to make sure that you hit on mesh down multiple times until you will have only one layer that have all of our diamonds just like this so as you can see right here I'm actually done so for the next step hit on that plus button right over here and create a brand new empty layer and make sure that you place it uh, in the middle of our diamond layer and the border layer and then go ahead and reselect the diamonds layer just like this and then hit on that button right here and hit on select option select uh, pixels option sorry and go ahead and go back to the empty layer and hit on that and sign right over here on the top and hit on gradient so for the gradient as you can see it has this beautiful effect and obviously you can just go ahead and customize the colors uh, until you have the color that you love it so I think I'm going with that and once that's done you can hit on that empty uh, on that sorry on that uh, layers tab and go ahead and go for the blending option the multiply is obviously the best uh, like a blending option that I found right here and of course you can scale down the opacity so as you can see I will be having something like that and you can mess around with the color correction you can increase the brightness and the contrast until you will have your very own colors that fits into your creation so how to set up on your YouTube videos is obviously easy you need to go to your editor now I'm using this video editor which is called KineMaster I have a link in the description below you can download it for free and you can just add the border and put it on one of the corners so I did choose the top right corner right over here and you can add a video layer so KineMaster doesn't support all the devices so if you don't have a video layer on KineMaster you can just go ahead and use another application which is called Media Studio Media Studio is another basic video editor you can just add a video layer into your very own YouTube videos so as you can see right over here you can add your face cam so now I don't have the face cam yet but as see right over here I just uh, will add my intro and as you can see that looks pretty dope I really like how it's going to looks like and of course you guys can customize the colors of the border you can make it looks more shiny and stuff like this so that's about for this video I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys did enjoy this 
this video please drop a like down below that really means a lot for me and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't enjoy me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out